in the low player, King out of Manchester, Crusher. His adversary, the Dark Destroyer. moment and now they get it round one underway targeting that belt line with the right hand nice jabs there by crusher crusher's movements really helping him out avoiding that punch little head knocking with that right hand crusher's knowledge of the game is showing through three ways to defend one of them is to block he did it there well that is boxing 101 a nice crisp combination by crusher and now he scores with that left to the body committing to the body work now he lands the right hand oh what an uppercut good right hand I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. There's a right hand. The old one-two scores for him. Jab. Good fundamental work landing the one two there. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. We count down the final moments of this round. Flush right hand to the body. Back to the body. Here we go. Round two is underway. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Rushers, defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Oh, and they decide to trade there. More than one punch downstairs, that could be damaging. Gets rid of that body shot. Rushers gotta be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Fires right back at him. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Crusher. How about that left hand? As his target, he lands a straight right. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs. Take it he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And we come to the end of round number one. knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end a fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Very nice work there. 
jab, uppercut. He tried to nab him up top, but was able to connect. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And he returns on that exchange. Good looking two punch combination there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Comes with the right. Rid of that punch from his opponent, well blocked by Crusher. Halfway through this round here, he scored well after being hit himself. Just still not moving. Crusher's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Very good work on the inside with the uppercut. Now, if you're standing opposite that right there, Teddy, what do you have to do to stop it? Well, first of all, you have to understand and recognize that's the punch you should be aware of in close because there's only a few punches. You're in real close. There's not room for too many other punches. The uppercut is the one you expect. So expect it, first of all, and move your head on the side so it misses you. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Crusher's right hand nice scores work. well. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Keep your hands Start of round number four. Crusher's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all night long. Very accurate two-punch combo by Crusher. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. That is a strong uppercut there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter-puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through round number four. That right hand serving him well. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus... He landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced Focus him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Right. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. It's what the old timers want to see. Combination punching by Crusher. And there he counters back against his opponent. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. The end to another very fight, a fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's gonna be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's gonna get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Rusher's able to land the hook on the inside. Is there anything he should be careful of, though, Teddy, on the inside like that, ripping off the power punch? Yeah, one of them is, and I just saw it a moment ago, he better not admire his work. He throws that punch, and he's looking to see the effect. He might find out the effect. Solid. A wicked left hand floors him. One, two, three. Get up. Get up. Get up. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Good, strong combo. Missed the body shot. 
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Rusher's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good exchange, he fires back. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Well, you can mark down another round for him. He has to faint a little bit. Fainting is the kryptonite to timing. It throws it off. You know, you faint and you're going to throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move, then you throw it. Faint it. That's the key. Hold the trigger on that overhand left. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember, this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with him before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight. Oh, he is stuck. Oh, and there you go. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. That's an impactful Keep right hand it. by Crusher. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. I can't believe they're going at it like this. Tooth and nail, punch for punch. If you told each of them they would perform like this, they probably thought they'd have a lopsided win. Instead, it's a dead even fight. Instead, they're bringing out the best, the extraordinary in each one. And round six comes to it as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor's gonna stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. There's the hook. Tried the hook, didn't get it. To the head he goes with a left hand. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot and brings back the uppercut. A little one-two. Jab called by the cross. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Come on. Look at that! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Three, four, four five, five, six. 
what guts he's showing here. I don't know that he's going to get the glory, but what guts to keep fighting here when he's damaged like this? Well, actually, Joe, too much guts. That's why the old-time guys, the small trainers, used to say, you have to have a little fear in there to know when you're in a bad place, to know when to grab, when to get out of there. Good defense just covering up down low. Rushers, what a big shot. That was a big shot at Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Gray Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's being dominated now. Yes, he got up from that knockdown, but this fight could be over at any moment. You got to think the referee's taking a look. If he's a good ref, he is, but fighters have come back. As dismal as this looks, as bad as this looks, they have come back from four. And round seven comes right in your Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number eight here. Rusher's been on the mark throughout the first seven rounds, Teddy. He's dominating on your score. Do you ever have one of those days where you're playing basketball and you just can't miss the basket? I mean, everything you throw goes in. Well, that's kind of how he must feel. Anything he throws out there, it finds a target. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. Now you're seeing the kind of mentality that's going to try to avoid that happening again. But, Teddy, it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're in the corner with him, you know what you tell him, Joe? You tell him, look, you're being tested now. I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be a champion? Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes.